and welcome my dear lovely and beautiful students out there how are you all i hope you are doing great in your life i am ca neeraj maaj and i am your host and friend for your ca foundation paper it is mathematics statistics and logical reasoning so i welcome you to this online or virtual classes tutorials so first of all i would really want to welcome you as well as congratulate you for selecting this ca foundation or ca course chartered accountancy course now it is one of the most i don't have to separately tell you the importance weightage value of this course but uh, i'll really tell you the earning that beautiful prefix of ca that happiness is nothing i mean you can compare that happiness with nothing else in the world but whether that prefix ca comes so easily not at all the journey is long so we have to stay very much strong is it impossible definitely not it is difficult maybe yes and that is what we are going to do we are going to is that journey the difficult journey on clearing chartered accountancy now what i want to do is right now what we can do is understand little bit about ca course you might already be aware that we have ca foundation intermediate and ca final level so you have to clear three levels to earn your prefix of ca but tell me friends uh, if you know about ca course and if i ask i do ask most of my students how much is the minimum time required to complete your ca course once you start foundation students are like so four and a half years yes i know i know minimum is four and a half years you cannot get your degree before four and a half years but i ask but i ask them what is the maximum time to earn that ca degree and then students start smiling because they don't know because really no one knows whether you'll get your ca degree in four and a half years five years or whatever number of years that might take you might have heard about lots of jokes memes and forwards you know the father is still doing chartered accountancy or he has cleared chartered accountancy along with his son okay but these are all jokes really not practical and they don't generally happen in real life but yes it takes lots of time compared to other courses your own classmates or friends they might become mbas or graduates or engineers or even doctors but you're still doing your ca course you know they are in first year of uh, they are engineering or any other courses and you're doing ca they are in third year you're still doing ca they are after 5 years also you're still doing ca but you have to have that patience if i talk about ca course it's not a course only and only for whole and soul intelligence intelligence students no it is for I, honestly if i tell you it is for average students but those students who have the patience and will to survive that battle of clearing your ca examinations so have patience and definitely ca degree is yours so now i really before i begin i really want to make an appeal to my hindi speaking students especially north india and other areas of the india or otherwise those who speak mainly depend on hindi because henceforth from when we start the actual syllabus our most of our content everything will be in english so mere dosto hindi speaking dosto aapko pata hoga ki ca si course aapko do languages mein milta hai there is no something known as mediums of instruction ek hindi language hai aur ek english language hai to agar aapne english term liya hai ya fir english uh, medium of instruction liya hai to mere dosto aapki english bahut strong honi chahiye आपकी इंग्लिश इतनी स्ट्रांग होनी चाहिए या फिर आईसीआई को इतना लगा कि हमारे स्टूडेंट्स की लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश में इतना इश्यू होता है कि उन्होंने सीपीटी में जो था सीपीटी में इंग्लिश एक सब्जेक्ट नहीं था उससे उसके लिए उस, उसी की वजह से सीए फाउंडेशन में इंग्लिश एक पार्ट आ चुका है मैं देखता था कि जो हमारे सी पी टी बैच के जो स्टूडेंट्स थे सी के उनकी इंग्लिश इतनी स्ट्रांग नहीं थी और ना सी में आपको पता है सब कुछ ऑब्जेक्टिव रहता था कुछ भी दिखाने के डिस्क्रिप्टिव की जरूरत नहीं थी और वो लोग वही स्टूडेंट जब इंटरमीडिएट या फिर आईपीसीसी में आते थे उनको बहुत तकलीफ होती थी बिकॉज उनकी इंग्लिश स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं थी बीट अबाउट मतलब राइटिंग के टर्म्स में होगा या फिर पढ़ने के बारे में होगा या ओवरऑल ग्रामर के बारे में होगा इंग्लिश की बहुत दिक्कत होती थी तो मैं आपको इसलिए एडवाइस करता हूँ और इसी की वजह से बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज ने आई ने सी के बजाय सी फाउंडेशन लाया और इंग्लिश को अभी इंटरमीडिएट आई से हटा के फाउंडेशन लेवल पर लाया है तो आप ये ध्यान में रखिए कि आपका इंग्लिश बहुत स्ट्रांग होना चाहिए आपका इंग्लिश कब स्ट्रांग होगा मैं बहुत बेसिक बताता हूँ मतलब मेरी भी बहुत इंग्लिश बहुत अच्छी स्ट्रांग खास नहीं थी बट व्हाट डिड आई डू मैंने बहुत सारा इंग्लिश न्यूज़पेपर्स टीवी चैनल्स मूवीज टीवी शोज काफ़ी सारे देखे तो उसमें ये बात आपको सोचनी है कि आपके कानों पे जितना इंग्लिश आएगा आप जितना सुनोगे उतनी आपकी इंग्लिश स्ट्रांग अच्छी होगी और अगर आपकी सुनने की कैपेसिटी या फिर आपकी इंग्लिश स्ट्रांग होती वो अपने आप लिखने में भी आ जाएगी और अभी आपको फाउंडेशन से ही दो पेपर्स में डिस्क्रिप्टिव है और इंटरमीडिएट के आगे तो सभी पेपर्स डिस्क्रिप्टिव है तो आपको ये ध्यान रखना है आपकी इंग्लिश स्ट्रांग होनी चाहिए 
तो ये बिल्कुल मत सोचिए कि हमको सिर्फ इंग्लिश हिंदी में ही चाहिए लैंग्वेज या फिर कुछ सब्जेक्ट हमको सीखना है वो हिंदी में ही सीखना है नहीं आप इंग्लिश में सीख सकते हो और आप इंग्लिश में समझ सकते हो और लिख भी सकते हो यू कैन वॉक टॉक रन इंग्लिश बट ओनली इफ यू आर रेडी फॉर इट ठीक है तो इसके बाद विल ट्राई टू कीप इट एज मैक्म एज पॉसिबल इन इंग्लिश यू कैन डेफिनेटली लर्न दैट एंड माई रेस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गुड acquainted with english no problem at all okay you can of course better and better there is always a scope for betterment of the uh, of your knowledge of your or basically of your skills fine so with that little bit of background let us now move ahead and let's try to break that notion why maths is difficult or why it is it is a kind of pain when you compare it to other of the subjects students say sir maths baad mein you don't have to use it it is not much practical so i say that's fine you have to you have maths is there in your curriculum it is there in syllabus board of studies has given you yes it has relevance or application in some of the other subjects in intermediate final or even your professional career but if i talk about just as a subject dosto ca foundation mein hi the maths subject is only in ca foundation you don't have it in intermediate so basically whenever you are giving attempt of ca foundation only for those couple of months you have to deal with mathematics so what is the basically burden you don't have that subject again in inter you don't have that subject again in final level so you basically you have to deal with the subject with only couple of months now again if i talk about includes three parts mathematics statistics and logical reasoning so that is a very good addition done by board of studies in your new syllabus of foundation earlier in cpd it was only mathematics and statistics the entire syllabus was divided equally between both now third part is introduced which is logical reasoning your aptitude aptitude or thinking capacity or process should improve for that logical reasoning has been introduced what is logical reasoning it is nothing but those mba students those who prepare basically for mba uh, colleges admissions etc for that logical reasoning or quantitative quantitative aptitude was mainly used if i have to just give you glimpse basically in that case you will understand uh, there's there's something known as odd man series then uh, odd man out sorry number series then direction test then relations all those things are have been now introduced in logical reasoning again if i talk about old syllabus and uh, new syllabus uh, what has not changed is it is still objective type of question examination again one mark for right answer and minus 0.25 for wrong answer so you need to keep that in mind but your other papers like english law and accounts that is now has gone into descriptive because there are also core subjects and again like i said english should be strong for that again uh, it has been now introduced as a descriptive paper now let me tell you about our syllabus what are what is our basically approach towards this syllabus now let us look at index uh, mathematics logic business mathematics logical reasoning and statistics it is completely for 100 marks how the 100 marks is divided is in three parts like i said mathematics is for 40 marks i'll give you that details of index later on statistics is for 40 marks and logical reasoning which is newly introduced is for 20 marks so students out of 100 marks let me honestly tell you only 5 or 10 marks chapter might be little tricky or difficult for you even from my point of view it is not tricky but still let me tell you let me give you a 10% discount out of 100 marks Five or ten marks might be very much difficult, but can't you attempt ninety marks at least? Ninety marks is nothing. You can attempt ninety marks, and how much do we want from that ninety marks? We want only fifty marks. Let us not keep target of fifty marks. Let us try to break the target of seventy or eighty at least. See, mathematics is a subject which is practical, and again, it is objective. If you get a right answer, one mark whole. There is, it is there is no, there is nothing known as presentation or stepwise marking. right so once you get a correct one entire one mark for that question is yours so there is a very good scope of scoring very well in your ca foundation especially for this paper mathematics stats and lr lr is short for logical reasoning so friends let us go through the index let us check the weightage now weightage is given by icai or board of studies themselves so if i talk today about statistics see over here your statistics is for 40 marks out of that 40 marks first two chapters if you will see it is what statistical description of data and measures of central tendency and dispersion these two chapters themselves come take almost 45% to 50% of weightage that means out of 40 marks that is the weightage of first two chapters themselves 
like i said cpd earlier was for 50 marks that paper for maths but now it has doubled it is now 100 marks paper right so lots of questions will be asked from chapter 1 and chapter 2 of statistics because weightage itself is 45% to 50% check chapter 3 correlation and regression the weightage is 10% to 15% that is 4 marks to 6 marks overall chapter 4 and 5 which relates to probability and mathematical expectation and theoretical distribution both of them together they take around 25% to 30% marks out of 40 marks again and chapter 6 and 7 index numbers and time series both of them take how much 10% to 15% so again chapter 3 and chapter 6 7 they have an equal weightage of 10% to 15% i'll personally feel logical reasoning is now a kind of again bonus given to you some kind of easy question would be asked it makes your life easier you to have that fear of mathematics when we can actually score good keep that in mind let me go through little bit of your uh, syllabus now if you know icai obviously you might have gone through icai website for your own uh, registration process etc etc so you come to icai.org over there you will have this columns the headings of students and members when i was a student you know i only used to look at the student category when i am still referring to the student column and then when will i i used to hope or i used to dream when will i shift to the members category right today i am a member chartered accountant so today i can you know pro proudly use all this options given for members but since you are a student right now you have to convert from students to members there's still time for that but so right now for you you have to refer to the students column in students column if you press board of studies knowledge portal bos knowledge portal you have to press that you will go through the details or the uh, data given by board of studies if you say see your new scheme of education and training that is a foundation earlier because it was cpt now we do not have to use anything for cpt etc so new course of study over there you are right now dealing with foundation course so click on foundation course in foundation course again you have four papers which you know accounts law english economics and maths if you click on paper 4 sorry paper 3 business mathematics logical reasoning and statistics <laughs> again you will find your study material and mock test paper click on study material and here you will see your entire syllabus of mathematics statistics and logical reasoning so let us say if at all today i'll start with this chapter of statistical description of data and again if you click on it you will get the study material of icai given by board of studies now again this is a download a downloadable copy so you can download it in your pdf file and you can refer to it anytime you like so i just wanted to give you a idea about your icai website now pay attention ca foundation these are your four papers right uc paper 3 maths lr and statistics right now you want to advance obviously you want to go ahead once you clear foundation you go to intermediate and final so let us just have a brief look at intermediate syllabus i am clicking on intermediate course check over here do you see mathematics anywhere do you see statistics as such leave forget statistics it is very much relatively easier but do you see mathematics no these are all in intermediate these are all, these are all core subjects the most important kind of subjects you know mathematics as a paper you don't have again right so why to deal why to be so bothered about it why to have that fear in your mind mathematics is tough and you have to deal with it for the entire life no you just have to deal it for couple of months clear it score good marks you will be happy for your rest of your life and have confidence in future towards the next course which will do intermediate etc so let us move ahead let us start today let us understand how are we going to approach like i said you have three parts now in your paper 3 mathematics statistics and logical reasoning so maintain a separate notebook right so let me call this as book 1 and let me call this as book 2 simple easy it right now why do we want book 1 and book 2 make one for maths and make one for stats as well as lr logical reasoning so we'll once we'll deal with statistics and logical reasoning in one notebook notebook you have to maintain a notebook and then you can bring one more notebook separate notebooks you will understand which chapter is where it becomes easy to refer apart from book 1 and book 2 i want you to prepare one more notebook 
it can be a very small notebook which you used to use in lower kg or higher kg very small size maybe of 50 pages or 100 pages right why because this notebook is formula book you have lots and lots formulas in statistics logical reasoning as well as mathematics now students pay attention whenever you have your exam you have only one day as such to prepare for your final exam when you are giving examinations they are at successive dates but you have to revise entire syllabus so many chapters almost 15 to 18 20 chapters almost in one and a half day as such right what is the strategy you should have for revising that also i'll discuss later on but you should have one single material to refer to your entire syllabus and that one single material is nothing but your formula book let me tell you that so whenever are there are any important concepts theories or any uh, theorems as such or you know formulas all of that has to be in one single notebook that is what we are calling it as formula book now whenever you are done with a particular chapter and i have given you a formula in the class in the uh, classroom teaching you after looking at that video or after finishing that part immediately write down the formula in your formula book again very immediately and then what happens is on this when you start doing this on daily basis you have to update your formula book on daily basis and then also revise the previous formulas which you have already written so that cumulative revision helps you and whenever you are approaching towards the examination all of the formulas and concepts are ready with you in your mind it is almost by heart that's why I keep this third book with you which i am calling it as formula book all right so have this habit have this discipline i at times students tell me sir online lectures videos there is no discipline i don't see sometimes i sleep sometimes i am studying or not studying there is no consistency students my friends if you want to really become chartered accountant are you a chartered accountant right now no you are just a student do you want to become chartered accountant yes so whenever you want to achieve something and you whatever you have not done till now you need to do it no you need to do it because you don't have your chartered accountancy degree right now okay so come out of your comfort zone stop being lazy be pro proactive and you you know success is yours only if you really really want it it is not something oh casually i want to see a degree no you have to work for it slog for it burn the midnight oil so have you know you should have give lots of dedication especially when i am not there in front of you let us say physically in classroom and you are looking at the lectures from your home you need more dedication and discipline while studying okay so make your own time table you have your time table ready and refer to the videos as per your own time table i am giving you this opportunity of being flexible whenever you want to study you can study but you need to study for that you need to sit in front of your tablet or laptop and watch the videos on a disciplined basis okay maybe on daily basis couple of hours you can pick it out and then start studying okay but make this a habit this video lectures online lectures should be a boon so they should be a merit for you not a bane or demerit okay these are for you to help these videos are there to help you out not just sit at home and idle and not paying attention you need to need you really need to pay attention to the attention to the video lectures itself because you are not there in live classes all right so have discipline and everything will go very smoothly